Well, you know how YouTube loves top tens. Hey everybody, I'd like to give you 10 good reasons why I love this amplifier. This is the Fishman Loudbox Mini. It's an acoustic instrument amplifier. It's a dual input, so you can actually plug your microphone in this and perform as a singer-songwriter, plug your acoustic instrument in there. You know what? I didn't even plan this video ahead. I'm gonna have no problem coming up with 10 reasons why this is a great little amp. So let's begin. Later in the video, I'm gonna show examples of my amp in action using this amplifier in live situations. Okay, point number one. It's a workhorse, I guess because it's so portable. And it's tough, but it doesn't feel fragile. The, the knobs are all really solid. You know, you feel like you can give this thing a spanking and it uh, should be just fine. Try to get yourself one of these uh, Fishman slip covers. Keeps it dry. Okay, so number two is sound quality. This little amp sounds amazing. I've tried other amplifiers, and I should mention too, I play nylon string golden guitars. Mostly, pairing it up with the Fishman this is fantastic. It's the tone, it's some kind of indescribable mojo. Number three is built-in digital effects. It's got a reverb and a chorus. Now the, uh, the each channel has a reverb. Well, the vocal channel has its own reverb right there. And then over here, you've got this beautiful chorus, which is really nice. Number four is the weight. Look at this thing. I mean, it is just so portable. I'll flash on the screen the exact weight. I mean, I wouldn't want my grandma, like, carrying this for me. I would say, no, grandma, let me carry it. It's a little heavier in grandma's purse. So number five is, of course, it has two channels, and they're independently controlled. Like I said, this has its own reverb. You plug your microphone in there. You've got low and high EQ. You've got your gain. Uh, so you can adjust it as far as relative volume between your instrument and your vocal and you have a master mix so once you got the balance the master mix bas basically you can turn it up or down number six is the back the stuff you have at the back here you've got an auxiliary input so that means you can plug in an mp3 player so if you need to supply music be between sets you can have your mp3 player there and just turn it on and also the mix di out it's going to get sent to the main front of the house pa system so this makes a great monitor Number seven is the phase, which is used actually to help if you're dealing with any kind of feedback. Uh, I find that this is in generally uh, very repressive of feedback. Even if you don't have feedback issues, sometimes if you push the phase, uh, you may get more bass. It's Number eight is the slant. I find it's a, a good angle, and if you put it uh, at a distance from yourself, and you stand back, then it points up pretty good. I wish it was actually a little bit uh, more severe and pointed a little higher up. Number nine, it takes effects just great. I often use bloopers and compressor and delay in front of it, and it just sounds great. And point number 10, well, I couldn't think of anything else. I think I've covered it all. So let's show you those clips now of the amplifier in action. And do remember to subscribe and leave a thumbs up. Appreciate that, don't be shy. Mm -hmm.